gloom sets in. Who do the people in here really work for, the public or their paymasters? And with the news Geoffrey Cox was doing a second job abroad, many in here are now asking, are we properly watching the watchers? Today, I asked the speaker, who was visiting a special remembrance garden in front of the Commons, what he made of Geoffrey Cox working from the British Virgin Islands. When you saw a member of this house voting from the British Virgin Islands because he was taking paid work, did you think it was the right thing to do? What I would say is that, of course, we've all seen the media that says that somebody's earning a lot of money overseas. The fact is, as you quite rightly said, he's broke no rules. But I'll tell you what, we will all be judged by the electorate, including that said member. Tory woes deepened as Geoffrey well, Cox's right spokesman released this bullish statement. Sir Geoffrey's view is that it's up to the electors of Torridge and West Devon whether or not they vote for someone who is a senior and distinguished professional in his field and who still practices that profession. He also pointed the finger at the man who should keep a grip on standards and behaviour, Tory Chief Whip Mark Spencer, for agreeing he could work overseas. Mark Spencer, himself a farmer in his spare time who runs this farm and shop, has had a bruising few weeks, first over Owen Paterson and now this. The Chief Whip is getting the heat, but it's Boris Johnson who doesn't want to budge. There are ideas for improving things in the Commons, like salary caps on outside earnings, but the Prime Minister at the press conference today made clear he thinks the system is broadly fine. He doesn't want the conflict it would bring with his own side. There might eventually be some changes, like removing passes from some ex-MPs, but it'll all be tinkering around the edges. Labour's deputy leader, Angela Rayner, today wrote to the watchdog over Geoffrey Cox's two jobs. If being an MP is full-time, how does she do all of her roles? To be honest, if you ask my friends and family, they say I don't because I don't really do anything but that. My life is dedicated to my job as the deputy leader and as the MP for Ashton and the Line. Some Tory MPs say privately they are finding the sleaze allegations and their handling so stressful it's affecting their mental health. Can Boris Johnson improve things? Sam Coates, Sky News.